in the show, we talked about this market's intense hatred for many of the big biotechs. But there are some players here that have been holding up better than the four horsemen. Take Biomarin, that's B-M-R-N, the maker of drugs for rare diseases, with a stock that's basically flat for the year. Remember, the others are mostly down. Here's a company that makes so-called orphan drugs. That's very expensive therapies for incredibly uncommon conditions. Biomarin has six drugs on the market, including a bunch of treatments for rare metabolic disorders. But by its very nature, this is a business that doesn't have a lot of competition. Meanwhile, at the end of this month, Biomarin's launching a new treatment for phenylketonuria, that's PKU, I'm going to call it because it's just a lot easier. It's a brutal genetic condition that requires lifelong management. That's great for people who suffer from the disease, and it's also great for Biomarin shareholders, as it could be a billion-dollar opportunity. So let's take a closer look with J.J. Biedemey. He's the CEO of Biomarin Pharmaceutical. Find out more about how the super innovative company's doing it and where it's headed. Mr. Biedemey, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey. Good to see you, J.J. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Hey. Have a seat. Thank you. JJ, I think that your company is chronically underrated because uh, you have just delivered and delivered and delivered and have very big revenues, but you have a new drug yes. that could be approved. And I know in your conference call, you don't want to say it will be because there's no sure thing. How big is this drug? So, uh, yeah, so the drug is uh, going to address uh, this condition, PKU, that you mentioned, uh, initially only in adults. Um, and the adult PKU market between the U.S. and North America and Europe is about 26,000 patients. Uh, the current therapy on the market is actually one of ours, um, and it's about $150,000 per year. So if we price it at the same amount, this is, I mean, the market opportunity overall is close to $4 billion. Wow. So we only need to penetrate it by 25% to reach a billion dollars. Now, if you can explain to people, it's not, uh, you have to have clinics. You have to yes. you have to teach people that there's this drug yeah. out there yeah. that's so incredible. Yes, that's a very good question in the sense that uh, although the market opportunity is very large, it would be a slow ramp uh, on purpose. We want to make sure that uh, clinicians are well trained on how to use the product. It's a relatively complex product to use in terms of you know slow titration to prevent side effects. And uh, there are 125 clinics, PKU clinics in the U.S. We know all of them because we've been selling our other product to them. 35 of them have already used the product. Okay. <clears throat> so they are pretty well trained, but we need to train uh, the balance of them, and that will take uh, place over several quarters. Do people know if they have this illness from early yes, on? Yes, actually, that disease since the mid-60s is actually diagnosed uh, at birth. Okay. Uh, because before there was diagnosis, because the, the disease has been managed so far thanks to a very strict diet mm -hmm. uh, that's impossible to follow when you're not a kid anymore. And, and, and before, before uh, newborn screening, uh, PKU was the number one cause of mental retardation in, in the world. And most PKU patients that were born before the 60s are in mental institution today. Oh, my. So it's a pretty serious that. disorder. Well, well, you're also working on uh, another one, uh, Valrox, for hemophilia yeah. that you have some very mm -hmm. promising opportunities yes. for, correct? So that is a very exciting product, <clears throat> different area, hemophilia A, also relatively large indication, about uh, 120,000 patients in the world. And uh, we are developing here the first uh, gene therapy for hemophilia A. We're trying to replace two to three injections intravenously every week by one injection potentially in the lifetime of the patient. One injection? Well, that's the, the goal. Right. Obviously, we don't have data that lasts a whole lifetime yet. Right. Uh, we only treated patients about, we're going to give an update next week uh, uh, at the World Hemophilia uh, Federation uh, meeting uh, with two years of data. But, but in animals, we have data that show that the animals, once they're treated, with the hemophilia is managed for their whole life, 10 years, right. you know. So we hopeful that it will last several years. Now, if you have a drug like that, we've learned from Gilead that it's, look, we, we all want diseases yeah. cured, but uh, a chronic condition mm -hmm. tends to use more uh, medicine. Will this be a one and done, so to speak? So this actually could be a one and done, but the penetration will not be quite as fast as the Gilead penetration, Gilead product, uh, because this is such novel therapy that 
you know, some patients are going to jump on it, but some patients are going to want to see several years of data before they get treated. So, so the market is not going to disappear after three years. It will take a while to penetrate. Well, this is going to be the most exciting year. I've followed your company for years. This is the most exciting year I've seen. Exciting, this yeah. is a big year for uh, Biomarin, and that means that this is probably the year that you, if you haven't looked at it, you should. That's JJ Bienname's chairman CEO of Biomarin, which is an incredibly inexpensive stock. And if you like these kinds of stocks and want to buy, Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.